What's up guys, Mike here, and this is my UI 8 on the OnePlus 3. Now, this ROM has a ton of customization built in, and I will be sharing with you what I consider to be some of the best features. Starting off with the launcher and user interface, you will notice similarities between iOS and TouchWiz. However, it is definitely cleaner, more minimalist, easier to navigate, and customize. For example, if I want to change my home screen layout, a simple screen pinch will enable the launcher settings, and from there I can start my customization with the editing tools. Swiping down from any position on the home screen will activate the notification shade, and swiping up will enable the built-in app search in case you have forgotten where apps are located. Even checking the current weather conditions is only a notification shade swipe away, and once inside the weather app, you can navigate your way between different locations, check those 5-day weather forecasts, or even scroll over hourly predictions located at the bottom. Also found on the notification shade will be your quick setting toggles and notifications which can be altered with a combined layout, where the toggles are in a swipeable, slider-type orientation. Or you can choose the separated layouts where notifications and toggles will be displayed on different pages. However, I will point out that in the separated layout, you will only have access to 9 quick setting toggles as opposed to the 19 total available in the combined layout display. As for the clock widget located on the top home screen, a simple tap on the time will land you in the clock app where you can set your information accordingly. And you can also tap on the date just below to launch the calendar where you can update your ongoing events. There are also a number of built-in button controls, one of my favorites being the long press actions, which allowed me to configure my home and fingerprint button to launch Google Now. When tapping into Recents, you will also notice that the app overview is now a horizontal view. Simply swiping back and forth will allow you to navigate between your apps, swiping upwards will dismiss or close apps, and swiping down will allow you to lock the app so that it will not be dismissed when tapping on Clear All Recents. It is also worth noting that you will have a display for memory usage and a media control playback located in Recents as well. And while on the topic of media playback, there are some pretty badass built-in headphone presets and a fully adjustable equalizer that definitely gave me the best audio experience so far on the OnePlus 3. In addition to the audio effects, there are multiple settings to allow button assignments. You can choose from volume levels or music playback controls, or you can even go so far as to manually assign buttons on your wired headsets. Locking down your apps is among my favorite features, and MyUI will have a built-in app lock that will let you control authorization with both a pattern or a fingerprint. In addition to the lock settings, there are specific modes that will allow multiple apps to unlock with one singular identification or require authorization individually every time you close an app or lock down the device. You will also have a dual apps feature available, which will allow you to create a secondary app with its own specific home screen icon to help with identification between the two. This will come in pretty handy to separate personal, business, or multiple accounts through social media type apps like Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter for some examples. And in some situations, getting to those apps can prove rather difficult. This is where one hand mode can possibly lend a hand. Okay, but seriously, one handed mode is actually interesting and can be quite helpful. By swiping from the home button to recents or the back button, you can transition the window from right to left or vice versa. On top of that, you can even change the window size from 4.5 inches to 3.5 inches and tapping anywhere on the darkened area while swiping the same original pattern will disable one-handed mode. However, be aware that swapping your navigation buttons will invert your swipe controls for one-handed use. Now, on the other hand for navigation, there is a quick ball setting, which will have very close similarities to Pi controls. The default shortcuts will give you a device lock and screenshot option, as well your basic navigation controls. Furthermore, you can prioritize the button layout and customize the shortcuts with other settings or apps that are installed on the device. 
However, you are limited to only five toggles at a time. Reading mode, also known as night mode on Android Nugget, is baked into my UI. There is a quick toggle and advanced options found in the display settings. With it comes the ability to adjust the color calibration with a strength slider, and underneath that, an option to enable the settings for all apps, or an option to select and toggle specific apps from what is available on your device. The last top feature I discovered was buried deep into the battery settings, and that is the option to schedule a power on or off cycle. This will in fact shut your device down and or turn it back on during the scheduled time given a 24 hour format. Furthermore, you can toggle through the repeat options or set a specific customized schedule to any given day of the week, Monday through Sunday. So to wrap things up, my UI runs incredibly smooth on the OnePlus 3, battery life has been phenomenal, the overall experience has been pretty satisfying, and it's definitely worth checking out and trying at least once. It's a completely different approach than stock Android, a lot cleaner than other heavily skinned ROMs, and even with the features I've shown you, there are still a large number of other great options found throughout the ROM that will be very useful. My only real negative with this ROM is that there is a little bit of bloat installed, but some of the apps are actually pretty useful, especially the camera, the compass, and an advanced calculator. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button like a boss. Check the description for information about this ROM and other useful resources. Hit me up in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel to show your support. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.